Hey guys, welcome back. And this time, first of all, I have to apologize. There's a couple 3D printers running in the background and they're older, so they're very noisy. Um, but this time around, on the table, we have a product that was sent over from Fix Dry. This is a 3D printing filament dryer. I have all kinds of dryers in the shop here, and this is a new one. It was sent over under the basic gentleman's agreement that, hey, I'm going to give you an honest review. Um, you're not going to see the video any sooner than the viewers do, and no money was exchanged. They sent this for free, and I'm going to do some testing on it and see how well it really works. As you can see, I have some stuff on the table. I'm pretty excited to get this thing tested and set up. So are you ready? Let's do this. Welcome back. So first of all, a little introduction. My name is Paul, and this is my YouTube channel where nerdy is cool. I'm huge into 3D printing. I'm printing a C-3PO, an Iron Man. I've got an aluminum R2-D2. You get the gist. If you found me, you understand that I'm a fairly nerdy guy. So welcome. If you haven't seen any of my videos before, I invite you to click the button down below and become a subscriber. Don't want you to miss any cool videos. So here it is. This is the Fix Dry, and they sent this over for free, and I'm going to get into the box here. We're going to unbox this guy and get it set up. And I have several cameras set up here, so I'm trying to save on my editing time by doing multiple cameras all at once. Okay, so this is the top piece. Okay. We'll throw that there. So one of the first things I am noticing is that a lot of the filament dryers I've seen in the past, yeah, they're dryers, but the air has no place to escape. And I'm seeing right here at the very top, and I'll show that to the camera here, you can see that there are holes here so that if the filament is running and heating, the air can escape. So good job so far. All kinds of grommets here as well, too. I see three here, three here, and on each side. So that's good. And this is actually, uh, yeah, that's a pretty uh, good thick piece right here. Next up. And boy, it's a real treat when they uh, come out easy like this. And that's all there is in the box. And we have a little bit of foam right here. What's interesting that I'm seeing right away is, let me go to the uh, Canon view here, is I can see the heaters right here. There's a uh, uh, diffuser. Actually, an even better angle would probably be with this guy right here. So yeah, you can see there's a uh, diffuser right here. So it's not like when the heat is running, it's just gonna blast one spot. Uh, I like that you don't have to put these rollers together because they're in there and these little feet have some texture to them So they should rotate quite easily Now before I get ahead of myself, let's pop some stuff open here Okay, we have a very short Bowden tube uh, but let's look through the manual here really quick here and see what we got. Okay, the basics. So the air inlet is on the bottom. I'm seeing that right away here, so that's good. And you got the uh, standoff feet, so okay, good. So it's gonna have enough room to pull in air. And the insulation on this is gonna be super easy. Open cover, install a Teflon tube on the cover. Close cover, check input voltage, and it looks like the input voltage on this is already set. I don't see any way to change it. Okay, and the next step is gonna be to go ahead and get this guy. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I spotted something very interesting. Let's go to the stream cam. Look at that. Uh, I'm so happy I was able to share that with you guys. 
So the one piece, there's a diffuser here uh, that is pretty obvious to me that there are four holes right here and this guy's gonna go right here, but it's, it's interesting in the, uh, uh, in the manual uh, that, that they, don't, uh, they don't mention that part at all. So I don't know if maybe that was a late addition or not. But I like that. I have seen some filament dryers where they blast all the air on one spot of the filament and <laughs> yeah, you can, you can definitely get that melted. Let's get this guy powered up. Okay, I'll put the... Oh, the, uh, yeah, that cover goes on super snug. So that's, uh, that's the one. <laughs> yeah. So I like that it has a grommet or just the way that it fits but getting this removed off and on fairly quickly, maybe a tab would have been good to have, but boy, if you're looking for this to have a really good seal, I have a couple others that don't. <laughs> this one certainly does. Wow, that's gonna go on super tight. And let's go ahead and power this guy up. Okay, so this is our uh, temperature display. Uh, this is our humidity display, so that's it's pretty warm down here in the basement. And uh, this is our timing button right here. And just glancing through the instructions. Uh, when you increase the number. Okay, so you can set this to an infinite state, so that's good. Uh, the other thing I'm looking at, so they give you a little chart here for recommended temperatures, which I think is a really great idea. Uh, keeps you from guessing. Now, most of the time your filaments, if you look them up on the technical documentation, uh, will tell you, but as we all know, you buy, you buy uh, materials from places that don't offer you a technical data sheet, uh, you might be left guessing. Uh, these temperatures are pretty good. Um, I would go a little bit warmer on some of them. Uh, they mentioned PLA or PVA at 50. I, I would lean towards 55. Um, ABS 60, I'd probably go higher than that, but you know, overall this is okay. Um, so there, there is this guy. Wow, let me show you when the, uh, maybe the cannon picks up on this a little bit better, but yeah, you got these uh, tabs and when you get this guy fit, uh, wow. And then when you go to lift up, so you really gotta, yeah, maybe that fit will wear over time, but wow, that, that goes on tight. Okay, and this thing is already, uh, it's already heating the 26, I can feel that already. All right, let's power you off. And okay, so that's cool. Even when you're powered off, you're running your fan to cool off. That's good. Got to do this in steps, Paul. So I have applied the water onto this. And our starting weight, let me drop that down. That's an ounces. Okay, so it's 0 0.2 ounce, or whatever the other mode is here, pound, I guess, uh, 0 0.015. I wish I had a more accurate scale than this, but this is what I have at the moment. <clears throat> Let's uh, put you on that thing. Okay. Uh, all right, so currently we're at 47% humidity. Uh, it's currently 34C inside of there. I set it to 55, as you can see it's heating up. And we got it set for one hour. And we will see what happens after one hour. So unfortunately my device is not sensitive enough to tell the difference or maybe I should have put a lot more water in here. 
<laughs> another option. But I don't think you know, typically your filament would have, you know, what, 10 milliliters of, of fluid to lose. But uh, that's interesting. Now, a few other observations uh, I noticed while it was uh, running for the hour. See that flickering? I, I, it's, it's the way it refreshes. And uh, I mean, it doesn't affect how it operates, but a little annoying, but just something I, I noticed while I was running. Um, other than that, I'm gonna uh, uh, proceed to uh, put filaments through it and put it through operation here and uh, see how I like it. But uh, uh, outside of the, uh, let me go back to a bigger camera. You know, outside of this thing fitting so tight, you know, around here where, I mean, I like that it's airtight and it has, well, put the holes up top here. I like that it has that kind of fit. I just wish it had knobs or something that made removing this because I put these on top of enclosures. <laughs> so, <laughs> so getting these off is gonna be a real struggle. But I do like that feature that it is super airtight or super snug, I guess is a, a better way to say it. So yeah, this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna get this set up to work with one of the uh, 3D printers. Uh, let me uh, shut you off. But uh, yeah, so that's a, a first look at this filament dryer. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens as we uh, put it through the paces. And again, I'm gonna see if I can find a better measuring. But I mean, just, just by touch, you know, and of course I can't validate that over the internet here or over the video, but uh, definitely uh, this sponge is pretty darn dry. I mean, there's a, there's a little bit of moisture. Uh, you can feel it to the touch, but again, I, I feel like I definitely got rid of a lot of that water. So that's fine. Okay, so that's it for this time. As I mentioned, we're gonna do some more testing on this. We're gonna actually get it in use with the various PLA, PLA pluses, uh, and I have all kinds of PETG. I have some carbon fiber, I have other filled materials. So we're gonna put this thing through its paces. So this was a nice little unboxing and seeing, just curious if the sponge test would work, but again, just don't have a good enough scale for that. If you like what I'm doing and you want to see what I'm up to, check me out on social media. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and of course the website where nerdy is cool.com. Give me a thumbs up down below if you enjoyed it. Share your comments down below. I enjoy hearing from you guys. And that's it for this time. Remember, please print safe. <laughs>